Hey guys, thanks for clicking this video. I do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, remember to click the subscribe button, click that bell icon, and if you really want to support me, then consider being a Luxe channel supporter for $4.99 a month. You'll get loyalty badges next to your name, you'll get custom emojis, you'll get rough cuts and bloopers, you'll get discounted merchandise, connect with you on social media, and also you get your name mentioned at the start of each video, like this. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I've done these walks before to my truck, but it's normally dark out uh, and it's light out today, so you get to see all the wood. We operate out of a sawmills. So uh, yeah, there's uh, loads of wood and chips and wood. <laughs> anyway, there she is. That's my truck there. For now, anyway, at least. For now. That's what I'm saying on that. I'm doing a new one anyway. I've, I said before I'm doing a new one. But yeah, uh, so that's the truck. We're gonna uh, we're gonna start her up. That one there. We're gonna start her up and uh, do some daily checks, get the paperwork sorted out, and uh, then we can get on with the day. Let's go. Right. Okay. We're in the truck. Checks are done. Uh, we've been sat here now for. 14 minutes that's good enough most people give 15 minutes to do a daily check and uh the thing is right there is actually no set time uh i think the law says something to the lines of you must allow adequate time for daily checks adequate now adequate uh you know means different things to different people so <laughs> ask my girlfriend <laughs> sorry i had to be said <laughs> um <laughs> oh god uh, um you're right, we're on our way. Uh, today is Friday. I, I like filming on Fridays. It's kind of like, I feel like I'm in a happier mood on Fridays because it's the last day. It's the last day of the working week. Let's get it done. Uh, but actually, I don't think we've got too much to do today. I, uh, yeah, I probably should have filmed yesterday because I went to more interesting... Well, I wouldn't say interesting places, but places I've not been to before, let's say. Anyway, we are currently loaded with waste from the range from yesterday. Because yesterday I went to Bolton and... Burn and Lee. So um, we are loaded with waste from those three stores. Uh, and this morning we are going to take it straight down to Avonmouth Docks. Avonmouth Docks? Just Avonmouth, uh, the RDC where the range is. And um, we are going to uh, offload the waste at the range. That is then it for the range. We, we won't be doing any more work for the range today. On the subject of the range, um, Eagle Eye viewers may have noticed that last week I uploaded a video and I took it down the following day. That's because the range contacted me and they asked me to take it down. Uh, but credit where credit is due, uh, they told me exactly what it was they didn't like uh, and I rectified it and uh, it should now be back up. Um, should I say what it is? I don't know. I can't see why not. Uh, it was sensitive. It was, they classify it as sensitive information. I personally wouldn't classify it as sensitive information but they're the client so what they say goes um it's where i filmed um the outside shot showing what was inside the trailer they um they weren't too keen on that so um basically they didn't want people knowing what was um within the trailer itself which in my opinion now this is just my opinion if you want to know what's inside a trailer for the range go into a range store you'll see it all there <laughs> but um yeah, but credit where credit's due, the range didn't just tell me to take the video down and not upload it. Just just take it down. We don't want it up. They actually specific, spe spe specific, specific. Yeah, they told me what they didn't want on. So um, thank you to the range. I want to thank the range because, uh, you know, I spent a lot of time making that video and they could have just told me to take it down and not put it back up. But um, they told me uh, what exactly needed to be taken down. I did. It was just the parts where I was outside talking and uh, just showing what was on the trailer. All in all, I lost about two minutes, maybe three minutes of footage. Um, and in a 45 minute video, that's on the grand scheme of things, not a lot of footage. So um, yeah, big thanks to the range. I'd, honestly, I appreciate that. So yeah, thank you very much. But 
once we sit this off at the range, I believe we've got to go to Basingstoke. We've got to go get some pallets. Then we then got to take those pallets all the way to Shep in Avonmouth. So we'll be back in Avonmouth later as well. Uh, but a different place in Avonmouth. And then I don't know what we're doing from there. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But um, it's quarter to seven in the morning. Truth be told, I've started a little bit later than uh, ideally would have wanted. I probably should be at the range right now, but I woke up late, so never mind. <laughs> I've messaged the boss. I told him I've started late and he's cool with it. So thank you, Darren, if you're watching. Um, appreciate it. Let's get going. I overslept. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, let's go. See you in a bit. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free. Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control When they found out we ran from home just to scare them We were free When we were 17 When we got older, we tried to stay in touch ran away from us If I could go back Be 17 again Yeah, I would Just to see all my friends Running around the city Acting crazy like we used to do ooh, ooh, do, 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 do. I wish I could turn back time Oh, ooh, ooh. Singing songs on the terrace We didn't mind sitting out in the cold It was impossible to make us embarrassed We were free Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control When they found out we ran from home just to scare them We were free Sit on the grass and go, damn, I don't want to grow old Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace We didn't mind sitting out in the cold It was impossible to make us embarrassed We were free Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control we ran from home just to scare them We were free When we were 17 When we were 17 Okay, join me about an hour later Done about an hour's worth of driving uh, We are on the western approach to, uh, to the distribution park Lots and lots of companies in this distribution park I'm sure I've vlogged in here before, I'm sure But, um yeah, done done quite a few nights out down here as well. It's not the best place to sleep, if I'm honest. You can you see where that truck is parked there. You can park all along uh, here on the side of the road, uh, and over the next roundabout, you park all on the side. And yeah, it, it it's good. It's a nice place to park, especially if you just got to go pick up a trailer in the morning somewhere from one of these places. But uh, it's not the quietest place to park either. It's uh, when when you go the other way, you got trucks going past you. It shakes your cabs a bit noisy. I stayed up there on the left Wednesday, I think it was Wednesday night yeah it was Wednesday night so not last night, night before uh, there's a kebab van up there, actually no it's not that one it's the next one, yeah it's the next one <laughs> there's a kebab van, van up there anyway, I stayed there uh, Wednesday night and I also stayed there Monday night both nights someone drove past beeping their horn 
Why? I'm sleeping. <laughs> but um, yeah, people, and it was a truck. It was a truck horn. I think it was a Volvo as well. It's, it, I know it's sad. You can tell what truck it is just by the horn, but you can. There's only there's only like five or six brands, and they all sound different horn wise. Um. So yeah, I don't know whether it was someone who was recognising me or whether it was just someone just being a noisy git, but someone was uh, honking their horn nonetheless. Right, this roundabout's weird, man. You've got to get in the right-hand side lane to go straight over. Because left goes you up there. But yeah, um, I think Tesco's is up there or something. I think Tesco's is up there. Uh, what's that? GKN. Farm Foods. you got Boots on the left. They're building a new centre down here. Oh, there's Shep. We'll be going to Shep later. We've got to go get some pallets, and then we'll be going to Shep later on the left there. Uh, but for now, we've got to go to the range, which is all the way over here. But yeah, it's just uh, a, massive, a massive distribution park. Lots of trucks in and out all the time. And uh, yeah, busy, busy place. When you park on, on the road, it's, uh, it's not the quietest, but uh, sometimes it's all you can do. Again, right hand side lane, we straight over. Got a little there on the right. So, yeah, it's a big old centre, this. You can probably see just how big it is. If I've included Google Earth uh, imagery, then yeah, you can probably tell how good it is. Oh, thanks, by the way, for um, everyone who's uh, said, you know, that they like that. It's um, it's pretty interesting, isn't it? It's good. It's good stuff. It shows you quite... I like the fact it's 3D buildings and uh, it just shows you a bit of uh, perception. Is that the word? Perception. Right, are we going to be queuing up to get into the rain? Sometimes there's a queue to get out. Uh, to get in, sorry. Uh, but I'm not delivering goods. I am basically working for the range. Yeah, we can make that. So I'm going to go into the left-hand side lane, I think, when I get there. Because that's a container, so that's going to be goods in. And the truck in front of him is probably going to be goods in as well. And I am a store delivery. I'm returning goods from a store anyway, at least. So we shall uh, get on the left side of them. Ba -ba -ba. Right, let's go and get this sorted out. See you in a bit. Right, hazards on. Good to go, we've got the paperwork. We've got to uh, park up now and get the waste taken off and uh, then we can get, come straight back out. Time is currently 10 to eight. Let's see how long we're in here for. I'll get a guess in a second when I get around this corner. Is there any trucks queuing? No. Cool, I should be out of here in the next 15, 20 minutes. Latest. It's uh, yeah, it's ten to eight. I'm gonna say ten past eight. I should be out of here it's in a bit. Right, so time is twenty past eight. So it's ten minutes after I uh, thought I'd be leaving, but that is for two two reasons. That's Scott Andrews calling right now. <laughs> they want me. They want. They want to talk to me. I'll be with them in a second. Um, firstly, it's very windy right now. That's why I've had to put my hoodie on. It's very windy. That's why the curtains are flapping around, and that's why it's taking longer than I expected to. Uh, to, uh, to get a, to get a, uh, the curtains done up. Secondly, I just had to stop because I'm just trying to sort out some print for me, um, my beach flags that I've ordered. Um, there's a line going down the middle, so I've just had to send a very quick email off just to uh, to ask why that is. But anyway, we are, we're tipped in the rain, just got to give them the paperwork now at the, uh, at the gate so we can get on out of here. And uh, then we're going to make our way down to Basingstoke. It's going to give, uh, give the guys a quick chat and, uh, because they're messaging me. <laughs> they want me. The road legends want me. <laughs> At last. <laughs> right, let's give this paperwork to uh, to the bloke and then uh, let's crack on. All right, mate. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Right, a bit of wheel spinach. Right, let's get cracker lacking. See you in a bit. 
Okay, we are now in Basingstoke. Uh, last time I come here, I think I'm in the wrong lane. Last time I come here, I don't remember coming in this way. I'm a little bit confused. It doesn't take much. A340, I think I want it. Am I in the right lane? I don't know. I got, <laughs> I got to go back over there. I think. I think I'm in the wrong lane still. I'm not sure. I'm going to hover over both these lanes because I'm not quite sure what lane I need. I'm not coming off the next junction, so I think I do need to be in the right. So, we'll just keep an eye out on, uh, on other vehicles. I am hovering over both lanes. There we go. There we go. Now we can indicate left, let people know we're coming off. Yes, so we are going to come off this road. I think we've got to go over a bridge. I didn't... I don't recall going over the bridge last time, that's all. But never mind. Um, we are going to Sainsbury's. Now, I have been here before to pick up some uh, some pallets. But there's an ever so slight difference in wording on the, uh, on the paperwork. Last time it told me to go to a certain place like RTC or something. I don't know what it's called. Um, but it doesn't tell me that this time. So I'm going to head to the other place anyway, and hope for the best, basically. So, yeah, I mean, it, it does say Sainsbury's Depot, Basingstoke, but uh, last time I picked up from, I think it was, a, I don't know, DHL RTC or something, which was next door, uh, which I, and, I, and the shunters operate backwards and forwards, so I believe they take the pallets over there, and then that's where they store them, so to speak. But I'll give my reference, and uh, hopefully we can find out. Uh, whether I'm in the right place or not. But I don't remember coming this way, that's all. I don't remember coming this way at all. Go around here. Uh, uh, yeah, I see I see on the sat-nav now, the roundabout that I was thinking of. So, Sage Bizarre RDC sees that there like, in front of us on the right. But, can I get in that way? But no, I can't. I can't get in that way. Where I need to be, I can't get in that way. I don't think. I don't think. I'm pretty sure. I want to say RTU or something like that. We need to spin around at this roundabout and come in the other side of that building, and then uh, we take a left. That's what we're gonna do. That is what we're gonna do. And I found out what we're gonna do after we get loaded with pallets as well. We've got to take them back to Shep in Avonmouth, and then you know how I said how we're done with the range today. No, we're not. <laughs> we then got to drop this trailer off at the range um, today and then bobtail back to the yard empty. For those of you who don't know what bobtail means, it's uh, run back without a trailer. Solo, solo unit. Unit by itself, no trailer. That is what bobtailing is. So if you see a truck by itself on the road, it's bobtailing. I don't, don't ask why it's called bobtailing, because I have not got a clue. Right, we're not coming off this roundabout, this exit. We're coming off the next exit. Cause yeah, last time I come down here, I was like, whoa, this don't look right. But um, it is. It is right. So there's Sainsbury's right in front. Uh, but as I said, last time I come here to pick up pallets from Sainsbury's, I turned left. I, I want to say RTU. Is it RTU? R R U. Yeah, I was close. <laughs> R R U. So we're gonna uh, go in and just double check because like, I can see all the pallets now. Though, they've got loads of them. We're gonna go in the R R U. Give them my reference. And uh, oh look, we're the only one as well. Uh, report to office by Doc Ten. It's really annoying because like the other side of the building, so we've got to go all the way down there, have a little walk. Right, back in a bit.
They're saying it's not here. Uh, and it's got really busy all of a sudden. Yeah, he's saying uh, go into Sainsbury's. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I say last time it did it did just say uh, come here. That's all. I need to spin round now. Right, so I've never been into this Sainsbury's before, so I don't know whether it's electronic, whether it's a man, I don't know. Or woman, it could be woman. Face covering is in my pocket. Goods in, JS only. I'm not goods in now, I'm not, I'm not delivering any goods. Uh, tugs only. Well, he wants me to go in the goods in. I'm not delivering. Let's see what they say. If you're looking to get into the HTV industry or you're already in the industry but want to refine your existing skills, I highly recommend that you purchase The Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green. There's a link in the description down below. This thing is absolutely ram packed with information. Anything and everything you need to know regarding HTV is in this book. Go and buy it. Link is in the description down below. Oh. Wow. Bit of a palaver. I'm about to send emails off and everything to people. Ah, anyway, it is in here, so that's good. Got reverse uh, in between bay three and four, which is just here. Gonna straighten up a little bit. Bam, bam, bam. Excellent. I don't want to be blocking the path. I'm gonna assume it's. Uh, about here right we're in that is the main thing we are in let's get these curtains undone I think someone's gonna come over to me I think <sighs> who's in the con yeah so it's a one-way system three four goods in is just down there I think I've got to give my keys to someone I'm not sure Yeah, I think that's about right. <laughs> Lock on dock procedure. They've got 16.5 and 17.5 markers on the floor. My front wheel is on the furthest one, so just to be safe. Right, anyway, let's get, uh, let's get these curtains open. See you in a bit. Right, we're tipped. Are we going to get that out? 
Yeah, baby. Do not reverse. Yeah, I will. Right. We are now fully loaded with Shep pallets. Wait for the green light. Green light. Oh, I don't want to say they seem strict here. I, I don't think it's that they're strict. I think it's just uh, just general health and safety. So like waiting for green lights and stuff. Um, yeah, so we are we are loaded, fully loaded with uh, with pallets. Uh, it does seem to be that it's unusual to get loaded in the RDC itself, um, because even they said you need to go to the RUU, which is where I went originally. Uh, until I said, well, I've, I've actually already been there. I said uh, I swear I thought I'd be picking them up from, but they said no coming here. So um, here I am. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, but yeah. So anyway, we're loaded. We're loaded. That is the. Uh, the bottom line um, next issue is so yeah we've now got to go back to Avonmouth and uh, get unloaded our ETA there is 20 past 1 this afternoon it is 2 hours away um, but we've only got an hour and 15 minutes of driving time left so we will be stopping somewhere for a lunch break um, so we're probably yeah we're not going to be there until um, just after 2 o'clock so not too shabby. Uh, they're normally pretty good in there, to be fair. So I can't see me being in there past quarter to three, latest. Uh, up across the road, drop the trailer off. Quarter past three, let's say. Latest, leave the range. Back in the yard by quarter past four, half past four, latest. Oh no. Now I've said that. Now I've said that, it's gonna go tits up. <laughs> I've said it now, I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna commit to the 4.30 back in the yard. 4.30 <laughs> so yeah re reasonable day not too late not too early happy days but yeah got an hour and 12 minutes left of driving time now yeah that's right we need to get into the right hand side lane because we need to do a UE and come back on ourselves thank you very much excellente right I'm going to crack on uh, get as far as I can and stop at the services I'm thinking Will I make Lee Delamere? I'll either, it'll either be Lee Delamere or Cheveley, I think. Am I going? Yeah, I'm going the M4. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going the M4. It'll either be Lee Delamere or Membry, sorry, not Cheveley. Although it could be Cheveley. It'll be one of those three Cheveley, Membry, or Lee Delamere. See you in a bit. Right, okay, I decided I'm going to stop at Cheveley Services. Cheveley Services. It's the first. Andy's calling me. Chiefly services are the uh, the services I'm going to be stopping at uh, for my 45 minute break. So just uh, just in front of me over here on the right. Why is he slow down? Is he coming off? Yeah, he's coming off. So we need to go all the way around this roundabout. Bam, bam. Would have been nice if these uh, lights were green all the way around, but never mind. So, Chiefly Services. Both UK fuels and key fuels, if anyone needs to know. We're going to stop in here and have a 45 minute break. Maybe, maybe get something to eat as well. Not sure. Wonder if there's any room. Looks a little busy. There to the right. HGV. I reckon we can uh, pull in down here. And there's uh, a couple of spaces here on the left, look, so I'm going to reverse into, into one of these. Blind side, of course. In the rain.
bang tidy. Got an impatient uh, lorry driver there. Not waiting for me to complete my manoeuvre. If anything, I'm slightly too tight to the left. The uh, class two truck next to me might struggle getting out, so I'm just gonna move over a little bit. So, there we go. Right, I'm gonna have a break. Soon a bit. Right, we are back in Avon Mal fan. We are ready to tip the load. Don't know why I did that. Uh, yeah, we got a full load of uh, Shep uh, pallets on, as you well know. We did end up stopping for a break at Cheveley Services. Um, Someone actually stopped. St someone actually spotted me. And took a photograph. Put it on me, uh, me Harry and Sons uh, group page that we're on. Uh, I don't know if you know, but if you if you search Harry and Sons on Facebook, uh, it comes up with a Harry and Sons page, which the uh, we all upload photos to each day to see what we're up to as a company. It's not my page. I should probably mention the company page. But uh, yeah, so we're going to drop this trailer off, and then we're going to get the pallets off hopefully hopefully nice and quick fingers crossed there's not a queue of trucks it's uh currently 10 past two almost um i expect we'll be in here half an hour i say i say 45 minutes so fingers crossed we're out of here by three o'clock um and then we, sh we shouldn't be in the range for long at all it should be a case of just running in, dumping the trailer and uh, leave it. When I say dump the trailer, <laughs> it will have to probably go on a specific bay. We shall see. But yeah, we're going to uh, pop into Shep Pallets now. be interesting to see whether it's available on Google Earth. Can you see the stacked pallets? I don't know. I haven't seen for myself yet. Okay, there she is. Shep pallets. Are there any trucks queuing up to get in? Yes. Yes, there is. And we've got a foreign driver going quite slow as well, so he's probably unsure of where he's going. Maybe. It's a bit presumptuous, that was. I, well, I was indicating to come off, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, he may, he may full well know where he's going. Yeah, there's some trucks. Oh, you may not know where he's going. Yeah, he's spinning around a little. Looks at it. There's Amazon there. Maybe he's going to Amazon. Oh yeah, there's loads of trucks. Yeah. Well, we may we may be queuing. <laughs> Yeah, we may be queuing. Um, yeah, we're going to be queuing from here. Oh yeah, you need a hard eye in this place, don't you? Let's get me hard eye out. Ugh. Right, well, I'm going to go book in at least, and then that's done. Uh, let's take it out of gear. So yeah, I'm going to go book in, be right back. Okay. We can't book in. Because it's locked. With a padlock on. Change gear. There we go. Yeah, it's all locked up with a uh, padlock on. So we uh, we can't book in. So, uh... I will be going to work. Yes. Um, so yeah, they'll take the, the reference number when we uh, when we actually get fully in. So, 
I'm gonna undo the ratchets on the uh, curtain, ready to go. See you in a bit. Right, <laughs> we are offloaded. We are offloaded. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I can't remember what time we got here. And that's because we've been here for quite a while. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's 10 to 4 right now, so we have been here a while, uh, let's look at my timeline on Google, it says that I got here at 10 past 2, so nearly 2 hours, <laughs> never mind, we're here, and that's the main thing. Right, we've now got to go and drop this trailer off next door pretty much at the range so that's what we're going to go and do now uh, there's the reference now I'm doing something which might be quite controversial I'm not sure I'll be interested in hearing what you guys have to think I'm about to drop this trail off at the range I'm about to reverse it most likely on a bay or worst case scenario not on a bay but it will then need to be reversed onto a bay by somebody else i.e. the shunter and we uh, you open up the back doors so that they're ready. Now, my back doors are open. They're open right now. They are open right now. My back doors are open for business. Um, they are restrained back, as in they're, they're tied down. Uh, A, by the default manufacturer restraints, which are in this case the bars that pop out and pop over to secure them open. And I've also put internal straps. Uh, two down each side, no sorry, one down each side, uh, two in total, to hold the doors open, open as well. So they are literally physically attached in two ways to the trailer. Now, it's probably slightly lazy, yeah, I admit. But also, I had to open them anyway to get the pallets out. So, work smarter, not harder? Question? I don't know. Anyway, we're just going to go right at this roundabout, left at the next, and then we're literally there. So we're not like going on a major road, like a motorway or anything like that. Do you know what I mean? This is all this is all a distribution centre, and I'm just taking it from one RDC to another. So, as far as I'm concerned, I would I take it on like a motorway. I don't know because, like I said, it is secure. It's secured in two ways: the actual the actual restraint. Um, come with the trailer <laughs> and uh, also secondary strained uh, uh, restraint by uh, internal straps so I'm confident I'm confident that they're fine as they are like the range is just there do you know what I mean as long as they don't <laughs> as long as they don't come off and uh, close up while I'm passing a vehicle because that would, yeah that would cause a lot of damage it's not a laughing matter but no I'm confident they are they're secure two ways but two different things so if one fails it's still got a backup so Excellent. And I'm only going 20 miles now. Right. Let's go. But yeah, let me know what you think about that. Am I just am I being dodgy? Or uh, would you do the same thing? I bet a lot of people are probably just gonna say yeah, just do it up. Right, there's a queue, I can see there's a queue to get into the range. I don't care, I'm gonna cut in. I'm not gonna I'm not actually gonna cut in, I'm just gonna go into lane one, which is for the range vehicles. Um because I am working for the range. This trailer's getting loaded for the range. It's booked in, they need it. I'm not delivering goods like the rest of them. Now, can I make the corner though? That's the question. Because that lorry's there, he wants to go in, but. Yeah, we're in. This is the lane we want. Excellent. Right, I'm going to go give him my reference and uh, hopefully we get let straight in. I do like getting the dirty look, so. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. 
Okay, we are done. Trailer is offloaded. Number plate is put away. Susie's are put away. We've just got to now get signed out. It's paperwork. Probably going to get told to do a scribble. Let me, just, let me do a quick scribble. Oh, la, 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 la. Oi, mate. Right. Yeah. Brilliant. Have a good day, mate. See you later. Right, yes. We are done. Hazards off. They're annoying. Yeah. Um, what I said about cutting in, I'm not really cutting in. There's just, there's three lanes. Um, and everyone goes in the far lane to the right. Uh, and if I can, I'll go in the... Uh, well, I'll go in any lane, I don't care. <laughs> Anyone that's free. And, um, I mean, the thing is, every time I've done it, I've done it a few times now, I go and give them my reference, because obviously I am booked in to some extent. I've got a reference. I've got to, got to either bring back race or drop off uh, a trailer or even pick up a trailer. But every time I do it and I, and I cut in front, they never say anything. They never say, oh, drive, yeah, you've got to wait out on the road with them. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's doing nothing wrong. So, but yeah, the, uh, the whole driving thing with the doors open... I don't know, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have done it, but I mean, they were secure. They were still together when I got here, so. But yeah, there is always, it's a bit iffy in it. I think it's a bit of a gray area. It, it, it was secure, so. I've, I mean, I've seen lorries travel down the motorway with the curtains open, strapped up. <laughs> so, can't be too bad. Anyway, we're done for the day. Weather is glorious. It's quite nice at the moment, which is, which is good because it was raining earlier. So we are gonna be putting on the spec savors. So yeah, all good. Uh, what I will say before I go, if you haven't done so already, Malcolm Green, Trucker's Handbook. Definitely recommend that you uh, go and buy that and check it out because there is a, generally a lot of information in it and every now and then I do revert to it just to make sure, uh, you know, I'm tip top, know what I'm doing, you know. <laughs> There's a link down below if you are interested in buying it. Uh, and big thanks to all my sponsors as well. Um, while I'm at it, I better mention truck shows, uh, I am going to Devon Truck Show, which is just south of Taunton, so it's kind of like just outside Somerset, literally just outside Somerset, but they call it the Devon Truck Show because I think it is technically in Devon. I'm going there, I think that's the, don't quote me on these dates, but I think that's the 14th and 15th of May, maybe the 15th and 16th of May, maybe. Uh, go and, uh, just type in Devon Truck Show on Facebook, it tells you the dates. I'm going uh, with the rest of the road legends as well, that's uh, escort load. I'm going to be following an escort now, all the way to the motorway and I. So yeah, we're all going to, um, oh, there's another one as well. I mean, our ideal thing to do would be to wait for it, but nah, I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> yeah, so me and the rest of the road legends are going. Uh, uh, I'm in a convoy now. <laughs> to uh, Devon Truck Show. Uh, we're also all going to Peterborough Truck Fest as well. Um, I believe. Pretty sure we're going. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, look out for that. We're trying to get a discount code for that. We normally have a discount code, so um, maybe don't book tickets just yet, uh, just in case. Yeah, don't book tickets for the dev uh, for the um, Peterborough Truck Fest because we most likely, most likely, will get a discount code. We have in the past, so don't spend your money yet. Um, you know, once they give, once you give us a discount code, Truck Fest, then people will buy your tickets. All right. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it pretty much. Thanks to all my sponsors: uh, NCT National Compliance Training, Avail, uh, D for Drivers. Um, uh, track it 24 7 and of course Malcolm Green on the truck's handbook. Big thank you, thank you very much, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, uh, bye bye.